they did it. I predicted it, it happened. Not that I'm clairvoyant, I had no insight on what was gonna happen, but this is the GR2 Heritage line from Goruck, brushed brown. Uh, fantastic color that honestly looks way better in person than it did online. It just does. And so you wouldn't be disappointed if you ordered one. This is everything that is the Heritage line. I'm gonna really focus the first part of the video on this GR2 build and wax canvas. And then we're gonna go into all the colors that I have. <laughs> and uh, I've got a few. So let's get to all the Heritage that is out right now. This is Heritage Week. Well, it's really a Heritage update. I've got a lot of new things from GORUCK and the Heritage Department, so we're gonna just update you on everything that is the current state of Heritage. Really show you all the colors I have, and really, I have all the colors, with the exception of two um, right here. Um, olive is a color that isn't currently offered, but it was in the past, and I just, you know, that green just really wasn't for me. If it's for you, cool. I'm sure that it'll come back at some point, but right now I've got all the other colors. So we're gonna do this in two parts. Part one, the very front part of this video is gonna be all about the latest GR2 heritage that just came out and I predicted this would happen and I'm happy that it has actually happened. So we'll get that off the shelf. We'll pull that out. We'll show you all the details of brushed brown GR2 26 liter and then part two and there's a chapter marker down below if you just want to skip to the walkthrough of all the different colors. You can do that and um, that and that part I'll just show you all the inside outside of these colors because I haven't shown you all them before. But first up GR2 heritage. 26 liter. So here it is. This is 26 liter GR2 extra compartment. Very awesome in brushed brown. Um, I really wasn't initially a big fan of brushed brown when I saw it in person. Saw it down at uh, Sandlot Jacks in a GR1 color or the style, but I just didn't, for whatever reason, it just didn't really look very awesome to me. Just not something I would pick. So I got this one, the GR2 size uh, in this color because it was first out of the shoot and I kind of wanted to, I thought about the slate, but I ended up with this in brush brown. So and I'm not disappointed in the color. I actually like it a lot and it is just a more of a brown, which is what it is, brush brown. But everything you love about Heritage is in this bag. So what makes a bag Heritage? First of all, waxed canvas. All these bags are made out of the same waxed canvas weight, 10.10. .10. Um, I'm not sure why it's 10.10, .10, not 10.1, but or just 10, but it's this wax canvas. That's the weight of it, and it feels very sufficient. And some of the colors, it feels a little thin, but in this brush brown, it feels very nice, very uh, awesome. The other thing you always get, some leather somewhere. In this case of all the bags, they have a bottom. In this case, it's segmented. You get the leather for the front compartment and the leather base compartment. And again, this main compartment is essentially a GR1 and then they put the other compartment make it a GR2 to compartment just if you want to memorize it that way but that's the leather and then you get a leather handle on the top which is very nice feels awesome and, th and then you get a leather patch and then the inside when we go dive inside you'll see the leather patch on the inside so that's what makes heritage the other thing that makes these all heritage and they all include it as you'll see even in the bullet and slate, which I covered in a previous video, and we'll get that out here at the end when we show colors. They all have this top pocket, which is awesome. It's not um, waxed canvas lined, it's got this other material, but it is very awesome, and it's my favorite feature in all the Heritage bags, just because that's the go-to pocket for everything. Sunglasses, AirPods, keys, if you rolled that way but it's just a very convenient and accessible pocket. You don't have to dive in anywhere else and it's right on top, it's nice. Fits underneath the handle and essentially unused space in most of these bags when it comes to just day-to-day -day travel modes. So anyway, that's the GR2 Heritage. What makes it GR2? Well, this front compartment is very awesome and wax is everywhere, but it holds not only uh, at this front compartment holds, it's big enough in this 26 liter size to this is the GR2 size field pocket. So it just fits nicely in there in this compartment size with plenty of room to grow. And then again, you've got this sewn in pocket, not padded, 
but it is still in that wax canvas. And then inside you have enough room for a GR1 sized field pocket. This one happens to be the Navy waxed canvas. More about the field pockets when we go to all the different ones, but this one's not, I would say, 100% packed out. And this is generally speaking my experience with all the GR2s is this pocket is very nice, very accessible, makes this more EDC or just very organized if you're gonna use it for travel mode because it has um, mesh uh, sewn in pockets, at least on the back, and just gives you an area to put stuff, things elevated, camera, some other things you don't want at the bottom but might get damaged. They all fit this GR1 size field pocket if this is not, I would say, 100% full. So it can be a little tight uh, fitting these in there, but as long as it's not 100% packed out, you'll more than likely be able to get this in there. The other GR2 pro tip is that if you completely pack out this pocket, so let's just put this bad down back in here. Uh, when you fully load out this pocket and you have this thing in this mode, it really limits you to what you can put in this interior top pocket that's on all the GR1, GR2 front flaps so if you pack out this and you pack out this you really are going to be uh, challenging yourself when it comes to closing the zipper so you really have um, pretty much either half load them or just really dedicate yourself into one of those pockets because using them both at full capacity with a lot of bulky items just really makes this thing inconvenient to close so anyway that's the front inside of the gr2 and they have these side access zippers which are awesome because it allows you to access your stuff from the sides when you're just out and about you don't have to go full open to get there as you'll see on the front and again almost identical to a gr1 you have this front area front pocket which we've already briefly talked about wax canvas on the inside and then this very awesome patch that's just oh yeah, again just a total nice feature all these bags it's just like you know it's it's like wearing your best comfy clothes it's just this is home for me this has just got a great feel to it way just it just makes me happy when i carry these bags and that's what it should be in all the bags cases but another side access zipper so that's it that's the front of any gr2 no difference here except that it's in wax canvas and has leather accents so so awesome the main area the main compartment as the standard GR2, more hoodies to pack this thing out, give it some pack out. And the back is no different than anywhere else. You've got the sewn in area. So if you had something with webbing on the back, you can lash it in there. And I've done that. I do that on gr ones all the time. And it's got this stretch pocket that gives you the ability to carry two things. How would I roll with this with two laptops? I would use the laptop compartment, which I haven't talked about. I'll show you that in a second. But then I would use my other, um, I'd use some sort of Nedrolo sleeve to jam in here with my iPad Pro for, you know, when I got someone. I don't know, don't normally use the laptop in route, so I would just use it when I got there. Um, other than that, this inside area of the main compartment has got two mesh access pockets where are very awesome. Some of the Kaiden Cariology versions didn't include these pockets, but which is kind of a downer, but on this one, it has it, and the thing is awesome. Just total awesome, total classic GR2 layout. And this one, with the exception of you get this top pocket. Now, the other thing to think about too is this top pocket is uh, gonna take away from a little bit of internal volume. That's just the way it is, just gotta live with that. And really, in my experience, it doesn't dramatically impact the way I pack these bags. I just really love having that pocket up there. No bladder uh, D-ring up here. Awesome, because there's no way to get it out. Nor would I ever ruck with this where I wanted a bladder. This is a travel EDC bag exclusively. Uh, last thing on the back, you have the always there uh, bomb proof laptop compartment and it's just awesome it's got a frame sheet in here which is very very protective you got the back panel which is very nice again leather accents again that's a very typical heritage gr1 gr2 thing that leather accents i think just sets it off very awesome very cool so that's it that's the gr2 26 liter why didn't i get the 34 liter well, I almost did and I still might, but to be honest, when I travel, I just, nothing seems to be able to replace the rough and tumble nature of that 500D shooter one. 
clips that I have, this thing right here, the fact that I just feel like I can throw this anywhere and just not care uh, because it's 500D. These bags are just too pretty. Um, and 34 liters, I'm just not sure that I would travel with it um, right now. That's just where I am with it. But, you know, obviously I have a problem with Heritage Go Ruck bags. So we'll see where it goes from there. Anyway, that's the GR2. All right, let's talk colors. A range of colors, they're all awesome, just so you can see them all up um, close and personal. Let's start off with the recently, also recent released field pockets that uh, I have a navy and a dark oak. This, for whatever reason, the material on these feels a little bit different. It's not so waxy, so if these are wet waxed, this is like just a lighter wax, I would say, on these, just the way they feel. That's just my experience. They both come with leather patches. They both come with leather handles. There's no leather bottom. And as most people complain, there's no molly webbing on the back, so you can't attach these anywhere. Eh, that doesn't really make that big a difference to me. Um, although I would like to see an option in the future, maybe to just have a, uh, to add them and maybe they'd be customized that way to put that webbing on there because I do use these elevated inside of GR1 or GR2 or to be honest, the way I have this bullet set up, I would probably like that in there. So if they went that route in the future, I wouldn't be totally disappointed. Although these are awesome. Love them for the way they work. Inside, just so we can see colors, let's do that. Inside these things, again, dark, black, navy, the same configuration you have in every field pocket. A nice, very nice leather inside piece there. Same thing on this one, there's more coyote, more green. Same two pockets, nice leather feel. Again, these things, everything heritage, in my opinion, is just super duper awesome. Just love the fit, finish, feel of all these things. These are my go-tos now whenever I want to just blast it up. All right, so dark oak, navy. Again, these are the, this is the only navy thing I have. Dark oak, I got another one of those, but let's go through the other colors. Slate. Slate was a recent addition uh, for me, and I got this. You've seen this review already. I do like the contrast colors that they've got on this one. Again, no le well, leather on the bottom, no leather accents compared to the GR1s and GR2s, leather handle, but slate. I just love this slate color. Inside this one, um, as I showed you in a previous video in terms of rucking around, I do have a couple field pockets in there, but I also have this uh, Gray Man tactical piece with a field pocket lashed in. So this is the way I roll with this one because I like to have my camera, other things in there that I'm carrying. This is the camera day-to-day -day hauler. I put that stuff in there and it's awesome. So that's cool. And I like that and I love that. Here's an oddity. This one actually has a D-ring for a bladder, but there's no way to get it out. So, because there isn't with these heritage bags because they have the top pocket. So I'm not really sure why they have what's in there, but just notice that. Otherwise, you see the contrasting colors inside. Very nice, very cool. This slate color is very awesome. And let me tell you, the GR234 liter in slate, and it's kind of common, but that's slate. GR1 26 liter in sand. Very pale, very light colored. Uh, it's not for everybody. Um, this is actually my wife's. She has this one and my daughter has a matching one because she stole my wife's sand so then I had to buy one for her. But she uses it every day as her book bag in high school and she just absolutely loves it. The classic style, she just it fits everything she needs and she just adores it. And I'm not gonna lie, proud dad moment. You converted one of your children to the world of Go Ruck heritage. So. Anyway, inside you'll see, and this is a standard GR1 configuration, so I'm not gonna go into terribly a lot of detail. Same contrast there, leather patches, awesome. Um, and no D-ring, no D-ring on this one. But anyway, this is the sand color, very light. Um, just not for everybody, maybe in terms of color, but it's very awesome. I just do like the leather accents, it's super awesome. That's sand. Already showed you brushed brown, rewind, and I mean, does anybody rewind anymore? It's not a tape, but that's brushed brown. Next, dark oak. This is, uh, was super stoked when this color came out. 
picked it up immediately. This is dark oak. Love the, just the darker feel to it. I just think it looks awesome. The color's awesome. Standard inside configuration. No D-ring. Otherwise, super awesome, just like everything else. Dark oak, love it. Feel tan, you've seen this one a couple times. This is the one I had uh, some scars customization. They added the side handles and they added the webbing. That's not something I really have really highlighted in this video. None of these come with webbing on the shoulder straps. So think about that, you can go to scars, you can have them add that. They have different webbing combinations you can add. So that's awesome and so you can do that. Just, you know, it's pricey. Um, so if you're gonna have it sent there, have them add as much as you want. Um, so again, leather, awesome. This one, yeah, no D ring. So anyway, this is the 26 liter size. Originally, just taking you through a little bit of history, the Heritages did not have that top pocket. Then they came out with, uh, with I think it's the second generation, they came out with the Heritages. And the 26 liters had the top pocket, the 21 liters did not. So I picked up this one, 26 liters, because I had to have that top pocket. It's awesome, has it disappointed. And so now I have the way to travel, if it's 21 liters doesn't cut it. I got the 26 liters, so I got both things covered. Plus the fact that I've got handles just adds a little zing and pizzazz to it. So that's cool. Finishing this thing off with classic black. And again, this wasn't initially released. They came out with all these other cool colors. Black was a little bit behind, but then they now they have black. Uh, you know, black leather on the bottom, black leather on the top, black leather accents on the back. Um, and it's just awesome. Classic, do anything. Um, just love this bag for everything that it does. And the fact that when it got re-released, because originally the Black Heritage did not have this top pocket either. This one has the top pocket. It's just awesome, great feel. Love wax canvas. Um, I did actually put this head to head with my Dyneema GRX C1 and I was gonna potentially travel with this all the time. But where I ended up with it is that Dyneema bag is just so, um, that fabric is so bomb proof, bulletproof, that I just think that's gonna be a better wearing bag. Yeah, the patina would show on this one. It would have more character as it went on. But at the end of the day, I just think that Dyneema bag is just built like a tank and better for rough and tumble travel. A lot like my 500D GR2 is. So anyway, that's me, you do you. But the wax canvas feel of these bags is just all just always fantastic. Wrapping up the heritage department, we have kit bags. And they only come in two colors right now, dark oak and field tan, both awesome, both fantastic. Not a ton of leather on this. There's no leather bottom, which is great because this is the bag that you just throw everywhere in the back of the truck, you name it. Totally awesome, totally nice feel. The inside has a leather patch uh, along the inside interior pocket. Again, I've done videos on kit bags before, but that really wraps up the entire collection of what's available in each of these colors. Not, not all available in either sizes. All the GR1s are available in both 21 and 26 liters currently. Against links in the description down below. You can see all these uh, up close and personal. Decide if you wanna buy them. The Bullet comes in a couple different colors right now. And again, it doesn't have the laptop compartment, so it's very malleable, unless you've got this Gray Man tactical piece in there. But it's very cool, very awesome. I actually love the way it's designed right now. I don't always, in fact, I don't usually use my laptop, although it would be nice to have that in the future on a different bag. Anyway, kit bag's awesome, wax canvas. You can either match the color that you're traveling with, if that's your jam, or you can use contrasting colors uh, which is kind of just how I roll typically. I just don't like to have everything in the same exact color. I like a little bit of contrast. And again, I wear my Huckberry Flint and Tinder waxed canvas trucker jacket with all these because it's just, I mean, I look like I am just came out of an Indiana Jones movie or something. Something super cool with this just very classic look of all these things that I plan to have forever. And I do have a heritage problem, but they're not all mine. Some of these are family members' bags. That's heritage from GORUCK, everything that they have right now on waxed canvas, I almost, have, I almost have all of the colors. And so yes, I have a heritage problem. And so there you go, GR2s and all the other colors. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps people find these videos. And if you liked it and found value, other people might as well. You can also help by subscribing and sending these links to other people if you want. In the meantime, we're gonna continue to enjoy the outdoors. See ya. I think people.
Two design. Two design. All right, so that's it. That's what I think of the heritage line from Geo.